All right, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, so I'm recording. I just don't know where I am recording to. Hmm. Okay, I should be recording to Amanda's inspiration station. Oh, I finally see myself. I've never been more happy to see myself, which is really weird. <laughs> Yay, I'm on live. Okay, let's try this. You guys, I am so sorry. This is so weird. There was an update with Switcher Studio and I didn't do it. So for the last mm, little while now, 20 minutes, I have been trying to figure this out. So... It looks like I'm live. I am going to, okay. I've never been more happy to see myself. Okay, okay, yay. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm on live. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking back and forth though. If you pop on, um, please say hi to me and let me know where you're from. Um, my name is Amanda Waldhart. And we are going to be doing my creative card club, my monthly creative card club. And today we're going to be doing um, the four cards from Gone Fishing. So I'm going to go over that a little bit. Um, if you're watching the replay, thank you so much. I appreciate any time that you're watching me and you spend time with me. Um, and I'm going to be posting this on YouTube as well. So maybe you're watching me on YouTube. I appreciate all of it. If you are not a YouTube subscriber of mine, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you are not, um, if you don't like or follow my page, Amanda's Inspiration Station, I would really appreciate you doing that as well. Um, I do have a few things. So um, if you say your name and where you're from and you share my video today, your name is going to go into a drawing and I will post the winner of it Um you know what? I don't even know when I post the winner of it. Maybe next week, Thursday. I'll do it then. Um, and you will win some of these ombre um, enamel. Well, they're ombre matte decorative dots. So they're super fun. I love these. I use these a lot. So I do have a little prize patrol going on there. I'm going to actually turn you guys down because I want to share a couple cards with you that I have recently um, received. Um, whenever people send cards to me, I love to share them. And then we're going to go right into my creating card kit, my monthly creating card kit. So let me change it down here. All right. So hopefully you guys are down. Now, before I get into this, I am going to share with you my cards. So recently, I've had some adorable cards sent to me. Um, and one of them is a super cute card from a another demonstrator. Um, and her name is Candy Michael. And this is such a cute card. Um, so cute. She sent this to me Um with a Stampin' Up! bag from my friend, Elizabeth um, Giles. So a super cute card and I wanted to share that. Another super cute card that I got sent to me was this one. I love this punch. This is our ladybug punch. And my teammate and very good friend, Lori, um, turned this into a bee. It is so cute and I just love how on the inside she has this like this. And then she has our little, um, our team is called the Crafty Cats team. And so she has this cute little, little post-it. Post um, another teammate of mine um, who's on my Crafty Cats team, Stephanie, she sent me this card. I love this card too. Um, this plant set is so cute and I actually had it in my BOGO sale. And she purchased it and she just absolutely loves it. And so she's been making tons and tons of cards from it and it's so cute and I love it so cute and then she stamped on the inside as well so cute 
And then I also got this adorable card. Um, and this is using the country, um, countryside sweets. It's kind of nice to see it different um, in a card other than in the blue and the designer series paper that comes with the suite. I feel like I've seen so many and they are wonderful cards, but they're all using that designer series paper that comes with the suite. And this is totally different colors from that. So this is a card that I got from my upline, Tina. And it's just a really cute card and I really like the colors. So it's a great, and I love all the different textures as well. It's the layers and the textures, love them all. So, okay, so I'm going to set them aside. So today I wanna share with you four cards. Um, these cards are part of my creating card club and I'm going to go ahead and share these. So every month I design four cards that is a part of my monthly creating card club. Now, when you get the kit, if you sign up for the monthly creating card club, you will actually get enough supplies to make two of each of these cards. I always design four, but you get enough supplies to design two. And the kits actually come like this. They're, they're closed up like this. And inside, I'm gonna actually kind of tear this one apart just so I can kind of show you. So I'm gonna tear this a little apart. Um, on the back, I do have um, what, what month it is in the name of the kit. And you always will get a little treat for me, whether it's a candy treat or something that's not edible and it's a little treat. But Gone Fishing, this one I thought was cute with the Swedish fish, so I always put that in there. And you always will get um, anywhere between um, 20 to $24 worth of consumable product. So in this kit, they all got a package of rustic metallic adhesive back dots. And then they also got a package of linen thread. And then they also got a full packet of the Gone Fishing designer series paper. So that's what was included with their kit. And then they get four packets here. So this packet here has enough pieces to make two of these cards. So I put them in an envelope like this. I put an extra envelope in there because they're making two cards, they need two envelopes. And then there's two card bases, two, sh you know, all the parts and all the pieces that they need to make two. So this is, this is one of the kits. Um, and this is $35 a month. Um, if you are local or pick up, um, it is 40, let me double check, um, with, let me see here. No, I am sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's $39 a month. I, my, my bad. It's $39 a month if you, um, pick it up or you're local to me. And then, um, if you're not and you need it shipped, oh my gosh, I am saying this totally backwards. I'm so sorry. It is $35. I was saying that wrong and I'm so sorry. I need to really look at the sheet because the sheet is outdated. That is the wrong sheet. So I'm just batting a thousand today. Let me tell you exactly what it is. I'm going to look it up right now on my amandasinspirationstation.com. I'm going to go right under creating card club because that is where you can sign up. And I'm actually going to turn myself this way for a moment here. Okay, so you can sign up under amandasinspirationstation.com. I am all over the board here. I think it's because my mind is all over my technology not working. And now it's like put me ah, in a crazy zone. I'm going to take a deep breath. Okay, so if you go to amandasinspirationstation.com, that is my blog. And then at the top, there's a spot that's called Creating Card Club. And that is actually where you can sign up. You can set it up right there. It is a monthly subscription. If you are local to me, or maybe you just want to try it a month or two, um, or if you're not local, just reach out to me. We can always work out something. It is a monthly card kit. Um, the due date every month is on the 10th of the month. And if you stay tuned through this whole video, when I'm done making the four cards, I'm going to show you what the cards are for July's kit. We are using the So Refreshing Bundle. 
Love that bundle. It is so adorable and I cannot wait to share you with these cards because these cards are probably one of my favorite cards I've made in a long time. So I do want to share that. Um, you know, maybe my problem is, is I'm having bad internet today because I am having a hard time now reaching out to my blog post too. Okay, so in person or you're just signing up to come um, and you're local and you want to pick it up, it is $35 a month. If you need it shipped, it does ship priority mail and it is $45 a month. Um, with priority mail, then you have a tracking, it gets to you faster, um, and you want that because you're not only getting your card kit, you're also getting, you know, 20 to $24 worth of consumable product, okay? Now, if you are local to me, I offer this as a class to come to my house on the last Tuesday of every month um, at six o'clock. So we actually last Tuesday just had this. And then I always the Thursday after come on Facebook and I do it as a live so that if you aren't local to me or you just are and you're unable to come to the class or maybe you just totally live somewhere else, um, you can watch and stamp along with me. So we can do it that way as well. All right, so let me turn you back down and we're gonna get started with these cards. Okay, so I'm gonna put this kit back here because this is, I'm gonna put that little kit back and they're candy. Can't forget the candy. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. So again, we're going to be using the Gone Fishing Bundle today. And we're gonna go ahead and let's just start with this green card. We'll just start right here. So I'm gonna pull out all my pieces. Another thing too with this card kit is I do give a full PDF tutorial um, with this um, class. And with the full PDF tutorial, if you don't wanna do the class or you don't wanna do the kit, and you just wanna purchase the PDF tutorial, you are more than welcome to do that too. I have a PDF store. Again, that's at Amanda's Inspiration Station. All right, so I am going to just trim this piece of paper because I know at class, um, my paper was a little big. So for those of you who have done this class, on this green card here, um, what I did is I accidentally, um, and I made a mistake, so I'm just going to own it. Um, I actually scored this a little short. So on the PDF, the measurements are right, but I scored it too short. So then it made my inside piece not fit, but I just trimmed it off and we're going to do that. So this is a book card. This is what we call a book card. And you open up and this is supposed to look like the binding of a book. And then you open up and there is that. So see how mine is going to have a little bit extra room in there. Um, and that's just because I needed, I, I scored it a little wrong. So I'm gonna trim this little piece here of the designer series paper. Jeez, I go, you know, the last time I did this, I did not do it in May because in May I was on the incentive trip and um, I came back and my kids were, you know, having the end of their school and it just was crazy for me. So I haven't done this in a while and I feel like I'm just all over the place and I am very sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put this very vanilla piece on the inside of my card here. So I'm just using my stamp and steel and I'm gonna go like this. Now, before I adhere this book down, the, um, the binding, I actually wanna take my bone folder and I want to burnish in the crease here. So, and I also want to take my linen thread and I want to wrap some linen thread around the edge of it before I close it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my designer series piece of paper here and I am going to place that right in the edge there. And then I'm going to take two pieces like this. I don't know, maybe like five inches long and I'm going to put them together like this, and I'm going to wrap them around, and then I'm going to adhere them on the inside. So on the inside between the two score lines, 
I'm going to place some um, adhesive here and then I'm going to wrap it like this. And actually I'm going to bring that down a little bit more. And same with this one. I feel like I don't have very much adhesive there. So I'm just gonna wrap that around and we're just gonna kind of cross it and then wrap it around. So this is the inside here, what it looks like on the inside. This is what the outside looks like. But now I want this binding to shut. So I am actually now going to shut my card and I'm just gonna kind of give it a gentle rub. And now because I have used my bone folder on my score lines to bind that, now it ha has kind of a book feel, okay? So I am gonna add a little bit more of this linen thread and I maybe eight inches and I'm going to fold it in half like this and I'm going to then snip it. So now I have like two pieces and I'm going to tuck it underneath here and I'm just gonna tie like a knot. I'm not tying a bow, I'm not tying a bow. I'm just gonna tie a knot there. And then I am gonna trim it just a little bit so that it looks just like that, okay? And now I have my, see the score line should have been a little bit further and I kind of messed that up a little bit. Um, and that's why I had to trim this piece down. But that's okay, we're gonna work with it. And for those of you who um, I did that too with the kits, I'm very, very sorry. All right, so I'm just gonna bring it over to the side though, and I'm just gonna keep it like this. All right. Okay, so now I'm going. I have two other pieces here. I have one that we're gonna stamp the fish on, and then I have another one where we're gonna stamp Happy Retirement. Um, I I like the Happy Retirement. I haven't. I feel like I I was looking through my cards today, and you know I have a quadrillion cards. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, I'm gonna grab my little metallic things. I have a quadrillion cards and I had my, I work at a credit union and I had my branch manager today ask me if I had any graduation cards or anniversary cards. And of course, I'm looking through my, all my cards and do you think that I could find any like happy anniversary cards? Nope. And my graduation? Nope. And I thought, well, geez, I don't have that. I don't have very many um, happy retirement ones. So I'm like, I got to get on that. I got to start making some wedding cards, anniversary cards, um, graduation cards. I really need to do that. All right, so I'm going to take Mossy Meadow and I'm going to stamp this fish three times. All right, I'm going to flip it over. We're done with the Mossy Meadow. And the next color we're going to get is actually going to be misty moonlight so i'm going to flip this over and i'm going to place this over to the side here i'm still going to leave some of the designer series paper on the side here so if you can see that there's still some more here and then i'm going to stamp happy retirement on here and i'm going to do that I'm going to get my dimensionals here and we're going to pop that up and I'm going to overlap it just like that and then I'm going to get out my rustic metallic little dots here and I'm going to put three of them on the bottom, just like that. First, I'm gonna fling some at me. I am batting a thousand today on this Facebook Live. I really, really hope that the next time I have a Facebook Live, I am a little bit better organized because today is clearly not my day. I don't know what's going on, but maybe it's the, you know, maybe it's all that smoke coming down from Canada. It's affecting my brain. I don't know. So there is your card. Okay. And then I left room in here. So if you wanted to put another sentiment, you could, 
to me, happy retirement is all the sentiment you need. This would be great for you to actually write your saying in there. All right, so there's that one. Let's do this one next. Good things come to those who wait. And we're going to use um, we're going to use our card base as the wild wheat. Who here likes wild wheat? Hello, Michelle. How are you? Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I just saw now that it was almost five minutes ago, so hopefully you're still on and I'm <laughs> you're still there, but thank you, thank you. All right, I, you know, this this wild wheat, I actually enjoy this color. I think it's very pretty. So, okay, so the card says good things come to those who wait. And then I have it open on the inside. So I'm just going to put my very vanilla piece right on the inside. Now, I will say that I like to take sometimes my scraps of my designer series paper or I like to stamp like the little bobber in there. I didn't do it with this one, but I am going to actually, you know what? I'm going to right now with this one. So we're gonna do the bobber on the front. Um, we need, we're gonna make the bobber on the front, but we're gonna stamp this on the inside too. And hopefully I don't mess up um, because I already adhered it in my card and usually I like to stamp first before I adhere that in the card because if I make a mistake, then I can just flip it over. Oh, but I didn't, so good. All right, so we're gonna do that and I'm going to cut that out with a die, but then this way we have this on the inside. And then we're gonna need the Misty Moonlight again. But before we do that, um, let's get, well, you know what, we're stamping now. Let's just stamp. Let's just stamp, let's get the Good things come to those who wait. I like that saying. I'm just gonna stamp that in the center of my little square here. And then I'm going to start putting my pieces together. So this piece here is gonna go flat to my Misty Moonlight square piece. So we're gonna do that. Then I have this bigger Misty Moonlight and I have two pieces of designer series paper. So the water is gonna go on the bottom and then the fish is gonna go on the top. And I'm gonna start with the fish on the top because I actually cut that piece to be a little bit bigger. And then we're going to kind of overlap it. And what I'm doing is I want to make sure that I still, I want to overlap these two designer series papers. And the reason why I wanna do that is because I still wanna make sure there's room all the way around the edge of the misty moonlight. But to cover this like seam, I have the balmy blue ribbon. And for those of you who have not um, seen in person or felt this ribbon, um, our new in color ribbon, it is gorgeous. I love it, it's super soft, it's great to work with. Um, so I'm going to place that over top of the seam there. So I'm going to kind of flip it over like this and I'm going to place my adhesive like this. I'm going to tuck that, tuck that, and then I'm going to do another little strip in the middle here. I'm going to place this just flat on my card. So I'm just going to place that flat. I am going to pop this up, but before I do, and I'm going to pop up the bobber, let's actually cut the bobber out. So I have the bobber right here. I got my little mini cut and emboss, and I'm going to line that up there. And then I have some like artisan, like post-it tape. Um, and I'm just going to place that on top so that it, if while I'm running this through, it doesn't slide around after I've stamped my image and ruined my ruined my image. I don't want that. So there's my bobber. And we'll just leave this piece of tape on here um, for the next time because I do have another card that we're going to use that bobber with. All right, so let's... One in the middle, one on the back of the bobber. And then we're going to just peel our dimensionals, which I'm having a hard time peeling dimensionals with this last. 
I, I know it's not, it's not the product. It's my nails. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're going to place that over the center here like that. We're going to take the bobber and we're going to kind of place it off to the side. And then we have our little rhinestone or little adhesive. I always, they say adhesive backed on all this stuff, but to me, these are the rustic dots. That's what I'm going to call it. Rustic dots. That's just a mouthful to always be like adhesive back, blah, 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 blah. Okay. There you have it. Cute, and then on the inside you have some. Now, if you had extra scrap paper um, of this designer series paper, a little piece of um, that, a strip across, that would be really cute too. So, all right, so moving along, let's do this one. Now, this one's fun, and I'm going to share with you what I love about this one. So, in with the dies, we have, um, for those of you who haven't seen the Gone Fishing um, set, here it is, but they also have dies that are like a toolbox, okay? And this is like the top of the toolbox. I am going to show you that when you cut die cut this out, you'll end up with all these little pieces. These are the pieces that are left over. This is the piece that is actually from this toolbox. Why waste it? It fits perfectly for a Sane. I love it, you can use it on other cards. And I absolutely adore it. Okay, so we're gonna, this one here is a very vanilla. So see how I have, I have it right here. It is so cute. There's so many of them. You could do different sizes, but of course we're gonna do this size because this is the one that fits that. And let me get that out of the way. So we have our very vanilla um, card base again, and I'm just gonna fold it in half. And I'm just gonna use my bone folder. Now, I don't have to put anything on the inside because the inside is very vanilla, so I'm not going to put anything on the inside. But my first layer, I actually am going to use um, the folder, the 3D rope folder, which, of course, I have back here. So let me grab it because I didn't grab that. And I'm going to grab... I'm not going to be able to put that through my mini cut and emboss machine. So I'm going to have to use my big cut and emboss machine. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to grab this here. And I'm going to, oh, that was a little heavy for my left hand. I'm right-handed, so I just carried that with my left hand kind of far. So because this is a 3D um, embossing folder, that means that this embossing folder is a little bit thicker. So I'm actually going to use plates one and four, and I'm going to take this out here. And another little tip trick, if you're making multiple cards, you can put two pieces of cardstock in here at one time and run it through the embossing folder, and it does um, texturize both pieces. That's just a little little fun fact if you haven't tried that yet. All right, so today, of course, I only need to do the one, so I don't need to do more than that. All right. So I'll pull that out. So I'm going to actually use my dimensionals for this, and I'm going to pop this up. But before I do that, I am going to add my designer series piece. So I'm going to do this. Oh, and this reminds me. So I love the backside of all this designer series paper. I had somebody say to me, well, I don't know anybody who fishes, and fishing's not my thing, so... You know, I, I'm not going to get that paper. But if you look at every single one of the back pieces of this particular Gone Fishing 12 by 12 designer series paper, it's all different patterns and masculine. It is super nice and you don't have to, it's very neutral. So to me, it's very masculine, but of course it can be for girls too, but it makes great masculine cards and they don't have to be fishing cards. You can use whatever stamp set you want and then just use the back of that paper. All right, so let me peel these off. Yay, I peeled those pretty quickly. And then I'm going to place this 
on top of my card here. And then let's do some stamping. We're going to do the um, Pebble Path. This is probably, you know what, it is. It is my favorite color of the new in colors. I really do like this, it's a great neutral. Um, now I just used this stamp before using the Misty Moonlight, so I'm gonna clean that off before I use the Petal Path. And I'm going to stamp right on here. All right, and then because we're gonna need some, I did these like little loops with um, to add a little extra um, to my card. This is what I do. I like to just kind of do either three little lines or like an X. I kind of just kind of go all over and then I pull some of this linen thread out and I may start where I put it right on the adhesive here and I'll do like a loop. And then I'll do like another loop going this way. And then I'll do like another loop going this way. And that's how I do it. Um, there is really no wrong or right way to do it. Um, you can do how many loops as you want. I am going to pop up this pebble path piece that we just stamped our seine on. And then I'm going to place it right over top here. And there's our card. Now I did just get a tiny bit here of adhesive a little further out. So I'm just kind of taking my finger and rubbing it back there. Now we're good. And then I'm just going to add some more of these um, metallic dots. But I don't have any more of the big ones on that sheet, so let me, let me pull this out and we'll do that. And I'm just going to place one there and one there. All right. So there is card number three. Super cute, simple. I just, I love the simplicity of these. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so for the last one, <coughs> we have another one. Now this says good things come to those who wait, but we're gonna stamp different things. Although I kind of wish I would have made this one like happy Father's Day because I could have used one on Father's Day. I sat there and I made all these and then Father's Day came and I was like, oh, I didn't make any of these Father's Day. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change this up a bit on this video here and I'm going to get out this and instead of making it say that, we're going to make it say happy Father's Day. I know Father's Day is coming gone, but this way I'll have it for next year. <laughs> and I will, my dad is a fisherman, so you know what, it works out perfect for me. Okay, so actually we're gonna do, um, you know what, we're gonna do that embossing folder one more time. So we need to run this through. And this is also an in color, which I do like this in color too. This is copper clay. Um, I think this is a great in color. Um, I will be honest, I I always go for the brights over neutrals any day, but I do think that our in colors that are all neutral this year are great fall colors. And I'm really excited to see the mini um, catalog, our second catalog of the year, because that's like the one where we have like, you know, Christmas and fall and Halloween. And I can't wait to put these colors with some of those, whatever the stamps are. I'm sure they're all gorgeous. So I can't wait. So for this one, we're gonna use dimensionals again. And I'm gonna get another sheet of dimensionals. Um, I do cut these though. So I just wasn't gonna cut them on the video, but you know what? We'll just go to town here, it's no biggie. All right, so. Put that guy in the middle. There. There. 
I use every nook and cranny of my dimensionals. All right. So we're gonna place that right over top of our card here. And then we're gonna place our, so this time we are using the other side of this um, designer series paper. So for the last card, we did this side. Now we're gonna do this side. And we're just gonna center that flat on, on our card. And then we have this piece that is die cutted from our scallop contour dies. And this is where we're gonna stamp. So let's get out our copper clay. And remember, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it to say, Happy Father's Day. Because that's what I, I want that on there. I also want another little fish. And we're gonna do the fish in the Mossy Meadow. So we're gonna do that. There we go. Now we're gonna do the bobber again, but I need to clean off my bobber because we're not gonna do it in the um, wild wheat. We're going to actually do this one in another in color. Um, and we're gonna do this one in the boho blue. But I'm going to do that separately on this scrap, very vanilla, because I'm going to, oops, we gotta clean this one too. Um, we need to die cut that out. All right. So there's that. Now let me bring out my boho blue mini cut and emboss machine, which by the way, so this cut and emboss machine in this color, I'm gonna line up my die here, was an incentive to join and purchase the starter kit a while ago. And then we had extras, so it is now part of our online exclusives. That means that you can go straight to amandasinspirationstation.com. You can click on shop now. It'll take you right to my web store. And when you're on, on the left side, you can then just click. Again, it'll say shop, but it, you can click on it and you can... Um, scroll all the way down to where it says um, online exclusives and there is going to be product there that will never be in the catalogs. This is just additional product that we share on there that will not be on or in a catalog. And they're kind of nice because they can come and go. Most of them have stayed for quite some time but they can keep adding to it. So um, haven't checked that out yet go check that out all right we're going to do that and then I have two more of these little dots here that we're going to put and then we are done with all four of our cards and that was super fun now remember if you do the kit from me you get enough supplies to make two of each card so you're making eight cards you are getting 20 to $24 worth of consumable product. And then you are also getting a little, little treat or gift from me, plus the envelopes of these cards, all for $35. Okay, so that's, that's a steal, that's an awesome deal. So these are the cards that um, were for June. And you can always, if you don't have, let's say you don't have Gone Fishing Bundle, you can still do this kit and you can do one of two things. You can always purchase the Gone Fishing Bundle either with me um, or if you already have a current demonstrator and you want to, you want my kits, but you want to, you know, be loyal and order from your current demonstrator. I totally understand that. You could do that. If you're a demonstrator, you would purchase this under yourself, but you could still get the kits. Or if you didn't even have this, this isn't interest you, this isn't something you wanna spend your money on, but you have other masculine stamps, you could just incorporate your own masculine stamps on these cards. So, you know, the possibilities are endless. So I'm gonna pick these up, and then I'm going to give you the sneak peek of what Next month is July, which I feel like it's right around the corner. Hi, Carla. How are you? Thank you for joining. 
Um, so these are the cards for July's Creating Card Clip, Card Club Kit. Seriously, I have to say that like multiple times. So with this kit, you again get two of each. So this is my favorite. Are you ready? I have made, I had so much fun making these cards. So I'm going to, so here is card one. And with this one, you will get paper and you will actually do the envelope. So there's card one. So cute. I love this. This is so refreshing bundle. This is card two. Got the orange juice. Time spent together is sweeter. I just love this. It is so cute. I love the simplicity of that. Then we have this one that's so fun. Happiest birthday. And of course, you, you can make them whatever you want. I love the strawberries. They are so cute. Now, I will be very honest with you. Um, well, let me show you the last one real quick. Okay, and then here is the last one. So I just love this kit. It is so adorable. These cards are truly my favorite. So you have until July 10th to sign up for this one. Again, you can take your kit to go. You can come to my class if you're local to me. It'll be the last Tuesday of the month in um, July. I will tell you though, with this kit, um, you know, you are more than welcome to use another stamp set and be creative, but I do feel like this kit is, is made for the pictures. So, and the drinks, so that might be something. Oh, Carla, good. I'm so glad you love these ones. They are my favorite. I like had so much fun with this bundle. So if you are local to me and you don't have this bundle and you don't want it, you definitely might want to come to the class because you'll be using a lot of dies. Um, you'll be stamping and die cutting. Um, but if you're a demo and you love this and you already have this, yay, you can do it at your own leisure. Maybe this is on your wish list. I definitely recommend that this kit, you might want this set. It is fabulous. It is just an adorable, adorable, adorable. Carla, I will sign you up. I love this set. And I was going to grab it. So this set here is called So Refreshing. It is so cute. It, there's so much, there's like two-step stamping. I'm getting a glare and I'm so sorry. It is just fun. There are lemons, limes, oranges, strawberries. It is the coolest thing. And I will tell you, I didn't use this, but I do want to show it. So then you also have, well, I did use this piece. So I'm, this piece I did. But then you got the little blanket. You got the pictures. Um, with the glasses, there are two dies for the glasses. Um, this is my other favorite. So this right here, these are to cut out little ice cubes. It is so cute. I can't even get over this, this set. It is so adorable. I just love it. So yay, that is next month. Carla, I will sign you up. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the masculine cards. Remember, if you share this video um, now until next Thursday, um, I will put your name in a drawing and then you can get a chance to win the free ombre matte dots. Um, again, I love these. I use these a lot too. So, and I will, if you're local to me, I'll get those to you. If you are not local to me, I will mail those to you. Okay. If you have any questions, um, please reach out to me. And if you want to sign up for the card club, if you're local, you can just tell me and sign up. But if you're not local and you want to start subscribing, you can subscribe to, you can sign up for one or two or subscribe, cancel anytime. Remember, you can go to amandasinspirationstation.com and that will take you right to a spot where there's a spot at the top that says Creating Card Club, okay? Thank you guys for watching and taking the time with me. You have a wonderful day. Bye.